Alright, hey everyone, it's your boy Zachariah, and you are tuned into the Zachariah Experience. Um, thank you to everyone who reached out to me last week, you know, especially after last week's stream when I was so under the weather. It actually is kind of funny to me. I've been recovering, I'm feeling a lot better now, thankfully, um, but it's actually funny watching that stream back and um, just hearing how I had to like stop to blow my nose or cough. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad I did that stream though because I'm glad we were able to get through that episode and I wanted to like get back on track because we hadn't filmed in a while, but I hope you all have been having a great week. I am super excited to get back into this game and to continue on. I cannot believe we're already on episode four. I'm kind of sad actually to be honest with you that we're already on episode four because uh, after this we only have one more episode and they didn't really do any DLC or any kind of bonus content for Life is Strange 2 and I think that was in part due to maybe some of the reception the game got uh, as opposed to Life is Strange 1 which you know really developed that cult following and kind of had a different experience. And I'm not saying there isn't a fan base and following for Life is Strange 2, but Life is Strange, uh, the first one definitely kind of provided a different kind of, um, you know, just, just this fandomonium, like everyone really, really enjoyed it and it really kind of took off in a special way. And you have to remember it was coming off of The Walking Dead and other similar games. Um, that Telltale was doing so you know once you get more variety and, and again as I've said this in previous streams they were able to learn a lot from uh, what Telltale did and like learn from those mistakes learn from those experiences that, and sharpen and kind of polish the experience a little bit more and as you can see we have things like inter and indeterminate characters so in our stream in last week's episode uh, Finn gets shot and dies so that doesn't happen in everybody's stream that doesn't happen to everybody but that happened in ours I didn't know that was gonna happen um but it did so now he's not in the story anymore for me but someone else playing where he didn't die he'll still be in the story for them so i'm i'm really excited to get into this game uh, to get into this episode before i continue i did want to uh let you all know uh one interesting thing that i actually did between last week's episode and this week's episode was i did do um a little bit of digging on uh, Humboldt County because as you guys can see in the last two episodes for episode uh, three they talk a lot about how people are missing and and people end up murdered and again I like to I like to just kind of avoid the boards and the forums just because I don't want to get spoiled about other things with the episodes but I was kind of curious as to like why that was happening because I feel like it was kind of touched on but it wasn't maybe fully elucidated like there was just a bit of a mystery there as to why that was happening and so when I did some digging I actually uh, found out that it's kind of based on the actual area of Humboldt County and some of the stuff going on there and there's a Netflix documentary called Murder Mountain that actually sheds a bit of light on kind of what's going on there and actually I highly recommend watching it if you have the chance I found it to be a very interesting documentary and it kind of showed how much danger they were actually in while they were there because as you see like we don't really see too many people outside of our own camp and it's kind of an isolated experience based on what we're seeing in the game but if you watch the docu-series you'll see how things were and it, it was it was pretty interesting i'm actually really glad i watched it and shout out to the person in the forums that kind of recommended it to people if they wanted to learn more so i learned actually a lot from that and i really appreciated that and i'm not a big i don't want to say i'm not a documentary person it just kind of depends on the doc i, mean, I just in my regular day-to-day -day, i'm not like oh, i want to watch this documentary or like you know a doc you know a sh uh um, news of a documentary comes out and i'm like oh i got to be the first to watch that i'm not usually that person so i'm actually glad i like when it says I don't watch it, I actually found it pretty interesting. The other thing was I did um, in trying to get a promo picture for um, this episode, because as you guys know, I do pull them from online. Um, I found that I did see a couple of spoilers. And even when I found the other thing about the documentary, I did see theories. And this was before episode four came out that kind of, I think they're true based on unfortunately i was just looking for like some pictures to use for this episode and 
I was like, oh no. Like, there was things I already knew, but then I, there were some things that kind of aligned with the theories, and I was like, oh, I didn't really want to get spoiled by that. But, still going to give you all my genuine reactions. If it's something I've seen, I'll let y'all know, but I don't think it's going to take away from our experience, because I don't know what's going to happen in this episode. I don't know how it's going to end, or who I'm going to meet. Like, I don't know any of that, but just some things that I saw that I was like, oh, okay, so that's kind of the direction we're going in. So, just keep it, to keep that in mind, let's jump in. Let's get started. Y'all know I always like to talk for a few minutes before we start, just to kind of, you know, let y'all know how I've been and how things are going. But, um, yeah, we're on episode four. Let us jump in to this. And I believe I got a new Twitch follower today, so shout out to them. Okay, so we're on episode three, Wasteland. We just finished that one. We're going to click continue because I think this is just going to start the next episode. And thank you to everyone who has been engaging with... Um, the YouTube videos, when I re-upload them there, I really appreciate the comments. It, it helps with the algorithm. It helps get it out there. So if you are watching this now or you're watching this on YouTube, please comment. Please give me your feedback. Even if you're just like, I like this episode or I didn't like this character. Like, all those things really help. Like, comment, subscribe. All of that helps. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Let's turn this up a little bit on my end. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. <laughs> they discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. And why do they gotta be dogs? <laughs> the brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. It's giving all dogs what I have grown too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The leader of the pack was killed. The little cub turned into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. I love that they do the little recaps. Especially because it's it feels like some of the things that happen are so long ago, even though we've been playing this game consistently, when you think of like the timeline, like when they were out in the woods by themselves, when they were with their grandparents, it feels like forever ago. Oh my gosh, throwback. Hey, 
Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. I wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <gasps> Stop! I knew it was a dream, but that was cool how they did that. Oh my gosh, where is he? Is he in the hospital, or is this like... Oh, he's in a hospital, okay. Two months. Two months later. What? They shaved his head. Who shaved his head? Or did he want his hair shaved? Fuck. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. He was in a coma? What? Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Oh Goodbye, my gosh. Boy. Oh, this is... Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's look around, y'all. Can't catch Oops, shit. Sorry, y'all. Let me skip that. Your depth perception. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't wait to text you. Maria Elena Flores, Special Agent, Seattle Division. Call anytime, day or night, if you want to talk. So, I'm assuming he's been caught. <laughs> Um, Cassidy left a letter. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Let's we'll get to that, y'all. Can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Oh, so is this like the so? Okay, so this is kind of like I guess they're doing um little synopsis of what's happened. Date March twenty sixth, twenty seventeen. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and effed. Plus, in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. <gasps> Yeah, because once he got caught, I mean, like, what was he going to do? And I wonder how he got caught. Like, who kind of stumbled up upon that scene? I mean, but I guess it kind of makes sense because eventually everyone was going to get there. Everyone who wasn't there was going to find out what happened. So it's not like they could have all just been, like, dazed in the in the house forever. Uh, March 30th, 2017, tried to draw to kill time. This room was like a cage, but I suck now. No depth perception, no art, no ish. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here, woke up crying. Yeah, I can imagine that once, you know, the thing you love to do is kind of not working. Um, that's That can be really troublesome. Uh, April 3rd, 2017, special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me? So effed. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. I don't think so. Um, April 11th, 2017, happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are, Amano. He's an Aries. Oh my gosh, that explains so much. Um, and then, and then Sean's a Leo. Oh, that's a good match. That's a, that's good. April 15th. But Leo's can be kind of, you know, we're not going to go there today. Um, April 15th, 2017, Claire and Stefan sent me a nice letter. Oh, wow. So lonely. I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. Well, I mean, in ours, he didn't get hit by a car. So, I mean, I'm glad he's okay, too. Because, girl, I really don't know how that went down. Um, my Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. Okay, so it seems like things are getting better. Um, I hope we get to read those letters. I want to read kind of like where things are. April 25th, 2017, greed kills for what? Yeah. Yeah, and ours greed definitely killed. Um, Yay. Stupid reality shows. Hey, I love reality shows. That would keep me busy. This must be my punishment. Ew. What is that, like oatmeal? That does look rough. Okay, I want to see the letter. Let's read Cassidy's letter. Cassidy's heartbroken over Finn. Well, I'm sure. I really hope they can keep going. Because he was like their leader, right? Okay. 
Let's get into it. Hola, Sean. The cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you except that you were seriously injured and in official police custody. They interviewed, see, interrogated me, Hannah, and Penny, and let us go. You weren't so lucky, I guess. Or maybe you earned it. Oh, shoot. That's kind of rude. Um... My heart is still broken over Finn's death, and we all can't believe someone with so much life isn't here anymore. I have dreams about him all the time. Yep, he was an F-up, but he was our F-up in our family. With Finn gone, our rail family is roadkill. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping all over, but it feels like we're in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. It just changes, right? But no way I'm going back to Hillsboro. I hope you're. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and hope you get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home soon. I'm not sure... I I will anytime soon. Peace, Cassidy. Oh, I mean, th- that letter's kind of sad. Oh, we saw the little tattoo, the little wolf tattoo. I don't know. I I, I feel kind of because we had a good you know relationship with Cassidy. Now I had a feeling like with Finn gone because he was their leader, like things are gonna be messed up for sure. But I'm a little surprised with how her letter was kind of just like this day feels like every other day. I don't know. It just feels like prison. It it feels just a little. I don't want to say they're not going through a lot, too, but it seems like she kind of is just like, yeah, I hope you guys are okay, but, like, yeah, now our lives are kind of messed up, and we fight, and we don't even know what we're going to do anymore. Like, I understand where she's coming from, but it does seem a bit like, I don't know, she gave an update, but it just feels a little, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe that's just me. If y'all feel differently, let me know. We haven't drawn in a while. Let's draw. Can we draw? Oh my gosh. You can only see out the one eye. Oh my gosh. This is. Oh man. Okay. I'm glad he's still trying. You have to keep trying. So hard to focus. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. Don't give up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. And I feel like they're still not really... Yeah, see, you still got it, Sean. It's so hard when you're creative and you feel so, like, stumped sometimes. And I I so understand that feeling. Ooh, draw prison bars, draw staircase. Why does the staircase seem kind of ominous? Like a staircase to heaven? That's kind of creepy. Like I don't, I don't know if I want to, but I don't want to draw the prison bars either. We're not gonna draw prison bars. We're gonna stay positive. But I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want us drawing like, like a stairway to heaven. Like we're gonna die. Yeah, I knew who was gonna draw that. Uh, okay, well hopefully that doesn't mean what we think it means. Hopefully that's not ominous. Hopefully that's not like a life changing move. We'll see. We should Rose- find a highway to freedom. Okay, just look at it that way. I like that. Um, I mean, he still did a really good job, though. Call Joey. Oh, we can call somebody on the thing. Call button. Okay, what does it say? I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Okay, I guess we just gotta wait for them to come, or do we gotta ring it again? Man, this room drives me nuts. Yeah, I'm not a Talking big fan. Talking to someone would be at least a change. Yeah, I'm not too big on hospitals either. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. Aw. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. (laughs) Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh Uh-oh. 
There's that smile. <laughs> so how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> no pain. Okay. Let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Joey needs to give me his skincare routine. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Okay. Sure. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good. Good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Headache? Nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No okay. rush. Wait, this is what? Tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> okay. Shit. Yeah, uh, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Oh, close. Yeah, that's enough. Aww. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. So what Patient is he? Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. <laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> I always hated that game. Right? You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> you ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch it. Yes, true. Your job. Who is the detective or the person, the agent? Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Wow. Sure. Joey's so nice I'll though. By later, Sean. And before we continue, I just want to say really quick shout out to all the frontline workers, shout out to the nurses who have worked through this incredibly crazy few years with the pandemic. I have um, you know, people who are in medical in my family and just knowing the hard work they do and so many others do, shout out to y'all for real. Stay cool. Hey, whoever just joined. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same <clears throat> fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So... Silence isn't going to help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Yeah, I'm going to say we didn't kill anyone because we didn't. I mean, that's the truth. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So... Who did? You do know. It's just... I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No! No way! And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? No. Yeah! 
He came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. Oh, gosh. The homicide victim shot to death. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And uh -huh. a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His or yours? Huh? Oh, no, that was Finn's idea. We didn't do that. I was going to say which robbery for a second. I was like, wait, what? I also want to say before we continue, I think it's so interesting that you kind of realize that there's there's now more than one instance that we cannot speak for. Like, once she brought up, well, you know, what happened at the at the farm? It's like, oh, right. We can't really explain that one either. So I can see why she's kind of getting frustrated. Like, you got to give me something. But literally, how do you explain that? Even the first instance... He could probably try to like figure out a way to say something, but that second one, girl, that that one's a mess. It does not make sense. Finn, it was his idea to rip off Marrow. Yep. Did he force you to help, or did you go along with it? No, we tried to stop him. He lied, I guess. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Okay, girl, yeah. calm down. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No. She was against it. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friend had to learn the hard way. With his life. I mean... Yeah? <laughs> like, what did you want me to say to that? They didn't deserve it. I mean, no, Finn didn't deserve to die, but, like, they knew the risk. Like, he knew that uh, Meryl had a gun. Like, come on. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Mm. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Mm. Mm. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Yeah, I mean, she, she, I, I kind of, I'm not saying I get her point, but I do understand to an extent it's like, if you don't have, okay, let's get this before she comes back. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. Dang. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Lucy Rose Jones, so that's her real name. Bet you wish you were back on the farm, asshole. Jonathan Merrill, he's Sorry, gone. Hannah. 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 She Rion. lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Baptist Dean Mikhail. Person would fuck him up. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I can see kind of her point to an extent where it's like he he can't really explain anything, and she's like, "Yo, I can't help you. Like, I need something." She wants him to blame it on someone, but we can't even do that. Can I get up? Oh, no, I don't do that. Fuck. Yeah. Bet you wish you were back up. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. 
Oh, I just. Mess with Penny. I just got what he meant by that. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The bureau put his profile out over four states, so we are on the case. Uh, I mean, that doesn't really help. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you gonna find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. You want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Yeah. He has got to get up out of there. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So... Oh gosh, I don't want to see his eye. How did your interview with Scully go? Uh, definitely not free. Let's say interrogation. interrogation. Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Mm. Yeah, Sean's not bad. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I I feel over time, I... I, I I understand Sean and I feel like he was trying to do the right thing and it's like you're just I feel like he was just trying to pacify Daniel you know and just try to be like hey we just got to figure this out until we can leave and if things had maybe gone differently but once he could see once they saw his power I mean it was always gonna end like this thanks Joey want to tell that to the judges <laughs> I'm just saying you don't deserve this Aww. now let's check this out Joey's a nice nurse you want a nurse like that the healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, mm. I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Uh, we're gonna say so positive. I I'm trying to be positive, but it's so hard. I know, I do, but I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Uh-huh. Good thing is he can get that normally. Like, he can get that at, like, you know, a drugstore. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Do I gotta remember this? I'll try. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. Okay. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. Oh my gosh. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh shit! Emergency. Oh gosh, I'm ER. <laughs> and no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Mm. 
Catch you later. What do you put up in the towel? Ooh, we checking the towel, honey. You are her boss. Yeah, something's in the towel, y'all. Okay, hold on. He left his pen too. He left the pen. Can we look at the pen? Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Okay, hold on. Let's. There's some other stuff going on in the room. Let's. Y'all know I like to look around. Yep. My art is trash now. No, don't say that. So there's more le these other letters? Maybe I should have let Daniel help Steven. Who's this from? Claire. Okay, okay, Claire and Steven. Okay, because I wanted to read this. I wanted to know if they said something. Uh, Sean, we were grateful to find out that you were safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. Because y'all remember, we got away. I don't think they realized we were there. We made a clean getaway, so that was good. We wanted to visit you in the hospital, but Stephen, Stephen's leg had to recover after his surgery. He's finally walking again. We also want you to recover ASAP, and the doctors say that you came out of that coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help... Uh, to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. We hope to visit you and Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Steven. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Okay. Don't know if we'll ever come uh, back, Chris. <laughs> Miss that little superhero. I like the little picture he drew. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you're okay. I am fine, but I miss both of you a lot. When are you coming back? Dad has been better lately. He says hello, and we are fishing now that summer is here. We do a lot of stuff outside now. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you. Chris and Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. Aw, that kind of makes me sad. You know, and I... I understand, like, I feel like, for example, with Lila, like, we haven't seen Lila in so long, we're probably, you know, knock on wood, maybe we will get some type of cameo from her, or or their mother, too, I we haven't really seen her mother, I thought, I, their mother, I thought that would be more of a plot point, I thought we would get to see her by now, maybe we will, but it's like, it does make me sad a little bit that, like, it's just one of those things, like, once you leave that scenario, like, because they're on the run, like, you know they're probably not going to go back to Beaver Creek again. You know they're probably not going to see Captain Spirit again. It's sad, like, that normalcy and, like, that just, you know, that... that They can't even be, like, children. You know what I mean? Okay, hold on. Before we pick that up, let's see what's in the... I don't know what's in the towel. What's, what's up in here? And I think that was it. I don't think there's anything else. I just want to check. Salvation lies ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, can we check out the bathroom? Evacuation plan. Hmm. Instructions for getting out of here. Okay, you're here. In case of emergency, do not use elevators. Okay. Go in the bathroom. Just want to see. Check I. Um. Oh, we can check the bag. Okay, we're gonna check the bag in a bit. This is a nice, nice washroom. Um. Damn. Just want to get out of here. I know. I know. Oh, literally nothing left in my bag because we aren't really allowed to have anything can we check i let's just see can he is, i hope he doesn't take it off because i'm not trying to see that don't please don't mm. yeah just just put it back i don't really want to see that i mean i've seen pictures like but i mean we don't really need to okay before we do that let's see what he left us then we left us a couple things I want to know what he left in the towel. What did he put up in the towel, y'all? What? Is, is it like a key card? What wow. is that? I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, so he left us our sketch. Oh, hold on, wait. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. How? And now he's he... gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But 
too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Yeah. Or the cops. Yeah, that's what I was really thinking. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? Wait, what? 23rd in uh, February 17th? Safe? Hold on, hold on. I could see him again. Huh. What? Had a few beers, Daniel sleep, same night. Okay, so that's back. He wants to train more. We don't have time. We gotta hide. It's not that easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Ooh, that's kind of ominous. So he's with Jacob. So that's why he wasn't there in the morning. But I find that a little kind of creepy. That's a little creepy. I can see it to say it in code. Wait, hold on, how do we get out of this? Okay. Um, I can't get out of this. Okay, I just want to... How do I... All I gotta do... Haven point. Oh, Haven sorry. Point. Wait, what? He's... He, he's... Lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks... So that's where... Okay. So he's there. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. Yup. I didn't take the pen, though. Can I take it later? See, this, this speed at BS, yo. This speed at BS! Oh, and that sign is kind of like, it almost looks like a cross. So I wonder if that was kind of foreshadowing, that we'd have to kind of, like, go there. Oh, because it's Sacred Hope Hospital. Okay. Time to clear off now. Okay, can I get the this pen? Whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. Okay, I'm taking the pen. I'll find a way to get the hell out of here. Take the pen. Um, new souvenir collected. Okay, that's not gonna help me yeah. right now. Thanks for the card, agent. Can't wait to text you. He's like, f her. Uh, no, we're not gonna call anyone. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. Oh, is he gonna, is he gonna do that though? Does he want him involved? Bed sheets. Okay. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Oh. Okay. What's under? Okay, hold on. Look under the bed. What's under the bed? Nada. Okay, so we gotta figure this out. Okay, okay. Nothing in the back. Oh, turn on. We can turn on. Is there anything in here we can use? This one isn't screwed in. Oh. I can pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. What about the other one? Yeah. That metal bar isn't going anywhere. So the other one's not screwed in, but it's gonna be loud. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look. I just wanna look. I wish I could just... Walk out. Okay, so the staff room. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. <sighs> They've been working on these rooms forever. But maybe oh, nobody's in so there. So fucking loud. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. <sighs> Say I need an aspirin or something. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's look around a little bit longer. Just want to make sure we don't. Because before we can start getting girls involved, like, let me make sure. Um, Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. I mean, I don't know if that's the best idea, but, I mean, we can take the sheets. I love he just puts them in his back pocket. 
Okay, no, I don't want to open the window yet because I feel like we open the window. I should close these so nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Oh, okay. So let's try. We're going to ask him for the aspirin first just to see what response we get. And then we're going to do everything hey, else. Let's try that first. Sir? Hello? Jesus, can you take a nap? Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story. Uh -uh. I'm not a pharmacy kid. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Couldn't... I could trick him into coming in here and then <laughs> knock him out. He could do that, but I don't think the guy's going to fall for that. We don't have the grab bar yet. I'm sure we're supposed to do that with the grab bar. Um, okay, so first, let's... Wait, did I see something else? Oh, what's up with the ceiling? Can we go through the ceiling? I'm all for the stealth way out. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm down for the stealth way as opposed to the assault way. Just because... Yeah, if we can go through the ceiling, I will go through the ceiling. Too bad this isn't a movie. <laughs> Aww. I was hoping that would work. Okay, so let's... We're going to close the curtain. Let's do that first. Can I have some privacy, please? Okay, and then I'm going to... Make fake body. Can I open the window? What happens if I open the window? Need a superhero to open that shit. Can we use the pen? Like, can we do something to break it? Inspect. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. Okay. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. Oh, so he's oh, so he's gonna try to escape that way. Okay, okay. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Is there like a? I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. Yeah, and go down the scaffolding. That's an idea. But just how do we do that? Okay. So we got a plan. We got some plans. Um. Okay, we can make the fake body, but I'm trying to see how we're gonna do this. so fake but it might work for a second so now what are we gonna do like I'm trying to figure out it might work for a sec but what if it doesn't like okay hold on wait what, what happened why can't I inspect 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 okay so I, I think that's the plan let's do that so we could call Joey, but we need a plan if we're calling Joey. Like, even if he comes and distracts the guard, what are we doing after that? Um, open. Okay, we're gonna open these, I guess. Mm, okay. I think we're gonna have to steal the crankshaft. The... I wanna call it a crankshaft, sorry, y'all. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIII, and crankshaft's one of the... leave this room without alerting anyone. Um, okay, we're gonna call Joey and see what happens. Okay, what's the plan? What's the plan? Are we hiding? Like, hello? You're gonna call Joey, then what? <laughs> like, can we hide under the bed? Oh no, Joey's coming. What do we do? Open. Can't open that window with my bare hands. Perfect. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Mm. 
Ah. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Yep. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Oh, can we trust him? Oh, I like Joey. We kind of need his help, though. So let's see if we can get his help. I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. <laughs> That's good news. Nevada sucks, but <laughs> at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Too late. Um... I don't know. I just feel like there's no point in justifying it to him. Not that I don't like Joey, but, like, that's... Whether he's innocent, like, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna... Oops. Oh, no. Shoot, I didn't mean to press that. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. Right, I didn't I'm mean to press the that. Police. You really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Yeah, just, no, no, that's not what I meant sorry. to press. Oh, sorry. sorry. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, oh, I'm so mad I pressed that. I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. No, Look, no, no, no. It's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? Oh, I'm so I'll upset. Do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Oh, I'm so mad. I did not mean to press that. Oh, oh well. My bad, y'all. I like Joey, and I, and I wouldn't ask Joey to do that. Ugh. Well, that failed. I fucking hate hospitals. Uh. The windows are secured. But who knows? Okay, we gotta grab this. We really don't even have a choice. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't want to mess up my relationship with Joey. I know he's probably just a little side character, but I like Joey. And seeing a black nurse, that's awesome, you know. Oh, gosh. Just lie, 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 lie. Oh, God, he's going to come in. See if we can open it with this. Would that help? Break this thing. Okay, but if I break it, what am I going to do? Like, is he going to jump? I mean, we can try. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I didn't want to mess things up with Joey. That was not my intention. I feel really bad. If I could redo that scene, I would. Oh, is there a ledge? Sean, we're going to have to do it. Let's go. Let's go, come on. This is crazy, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. What if we die? What if there's like a death scene? Okay, let's go. Oh, keep going. We gotta go. I guess you like what are the, you can go through construction by attacking the security, but we're not doing that. We're gonna do this. I told y'all stealth. If we have to. Ooh. Don't. Think. Just 
keep going. Yeah, but I oh, wouldn't have. Shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 bro. Take a breath, dude. Okay, let's go again. Okay. I'm trying to go a little slower, because when you go, it, it makes him. When I move the the analog stick, he moves for a bit. Like he doesn't just move one step. So I'm just trying to pace that. Okay, escape. Yep. Boom. See. That's how we do it. Damn. Way too close. Yeah, I, feel, I didn't want his relationship with Joy to be kind of messed up. I didn't like that. Oh, so that's where we would have got in from. Get my shit from the staff room. Oh, so we still got to go back in. How are we going to get past the guard? The guard's gonna be so confused <laughs> when we come out the next room. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't have closed the door. Is he crazy? Oh my gosh. He sleep, sleep. Oop. See, he, he changed in everything. He had time to take stuff. Time to get what he needed. We out. But I mean, of course Fuck. it was gonna. Who is it now? Meryl. He must be in pretty bad Oh, shape sorry, I just looked at my so my computer for a sec. Oh, so he's. Oh my gosh. No. I'm not gonna cry for you, asshole. So we didn't really have a decision there. So I'm assuming that's just based on basically what our relationship was like before. Okay, time to hotwire the car, get up out of here. I'd be so scared of triggering, triggering the car alarm. So I don't leave your car unlocked, y'all. He was smart to change, though. That, that'll definitely help him. Unless it's Joey's car. Is this Joey's car? Mess if it was Joey's car. Oh. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He has escaped the hospital. Wow. So that was interesting. We're off to Nevada. Mm, you better stay up. Stay up. Don't crash this car. Stay up. And his depth perception, depth perception is probably still messed up. So it must be difficult to drive. He probably wouldn't even be allowed to drive, I think, at this point. Um, since he's still in his rehabilitation phase.
And is he, like, wanted, too? Like, I'm wondering how he can, like, go to a drive-thru or something. Wait, does he even, does he even have money? Well, I guess he might have the money from what he made at the, um, at the grow-up. Oh, he's thinking about Daniel. Episode four, Faith. What a mess. I have no idea how he's gonna find him. Like, how is he going to? You're in Nevada, okay? Is he gonna try to call him? Like, also, he's really not safe. I would assume. He has a stolen car too. So I would assume he has to be careful with that too. Guess this is my room for the night. You're lucky you have a room. Let's look around. Fuck. Okay. Even Point is straight ahead. Oh, so he does know where to go. Just a few more hours drive. So he's going to Haven Point. Okay, okay, good, okay. I was just like owner's stuff. She seems nice. So shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Oh. Drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, pick up kids, night shift. Oh my gosh. She go she gonna get up out that shift and be like oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? For what? Right? Why does everyone have her, her business card? Um I mean yeah, we can take it. We might need to get in touch with her. Who knows? Um, it was just a souvenir. Okay, whatever. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Right? I was like, did he go and buy the cigarettes? Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. Uh, I mean, he could get gas kind of on the low. He might be okay if he has money. Oh, he has to do all that. Okay. Medical stuff. Okay, we're gonna do that in a sec. Can we? Can we wait? What a mess. Plotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. <laughs> right. 
Oh, I wish there was someone like who could, you know, like someone from one of the past episodes, like kind of help him out. But he's in Nevada now, so like, you know, I don't think anyone's there. I really do hope we get a cameo from someone though. Don't know how long I've been on the road. Need some rest. Yeah. Okay. We know. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Mm, oh, that's a good point. He didn't tell him. I don't want to say indefinitely, but probably for a, still a while. All right. Careful. Okay, do your thing, Sean. Man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. We did listen, no? Okay, check, look. Um, I'm going to turn off the lights now so he can s get some sleep. Not even going to climb the seat, Sean? Poor guy. Is this another dream? Yeah, probably. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... Aww. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. Mm. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? <laughs> I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> Aww. Oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Aww. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I don't like road trips. I love road trips. <laughs> I don't. So not a fan. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? Ah, <laughs> mm. uh, we'll just say it's going okay. Cause it's just a dream sequence. You know, going okay. I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Ooh. Try out new stuff. What does that mean? I kind of want to say, let's say that one see what he means. I just want to try out new stuff. I mean, figure out what I like, what I want, you know? Yeah, I get it. You're young, you've got time to settle down. Maybe you will. Eventually. <laughs> ah. Could that be Daniel? Yeah, where's Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. Nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for <laughs> Sean, don't crash the car. 
He's driving real slow and <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like your grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Ho oh, ho ho. Sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah. I know. Seriously though. How are you really doing? Mm. I'm gonna say I miss you. He's changed too, but I'm just gonna it's say. Too big, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to Rome. And find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, Sean. Hey, <gasps> wake up. Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? See, I knew this was gonna happen. Run! Oh man, I crashed hard. Oh yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the no. Fuck is that? No. Fucking kid. Get out. Uh, hell to the no. I'm not getting out. Look, Run. I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. Oh no. Ah. Uh, no, we can't get out the car. Yeah. I said out. Oh gosh, I could. Oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, I didn't. I didn't click anything. Deal with assholes like you anyway. See, Listen, I knew. I, I knew it was gonna happen. It. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. Uh, yeah, I just needed some I rest. Drove for so long. I, I had to pull over to get some rest. You know. I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. They know he's operating with one eye. Come on. He's just a kid and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. Move it. Huh. What? Are they trying to, like, steal his stuff? Oh, they're gonna see he hotwired the car. Or maybe they won't see it. Please. I just want to go. Oh, ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Uh, we're gonna say not what you think, because I'm not, I'm not giving the tea. Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Mm -mm. See, I knew it was gonna go that. there. Dude, come on. Take my backpack for what? Get it. Let's see what he's holding. There's literally nothing on me. It's gonna be like clothes. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Ooh, fight. Take it back, do nothing. Ugh. I kind of want to take it back because I feel like... This is tricky. I don't know if y'all saw There's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie with not this scenario, but a similar scenario. If y'all remember, like just a few minutes before he went to sleep, I was saying he's not safe here. This is what I meant. This is what I meant. Um... Oh, I just hate this situation. He's just not really in a place to fight. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to take it back, but I don't want him to get in trouble if I do that. Okay, we're just going to say nothing. Oh, it makes me sad. Uh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, why do you care? I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold nothing. On a sec, Mike. Exactly. 
You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Yeah, just from this not entertain don't that. Do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> You're gonna make fun of someone with a disability? That's not cute. Uh, we're gonna play All nice. I do is learn Espanol. Oh shoot! I didn't. It might be our official language someday, right? Wow. See, senor. So, one more lesson. How do you say, "This is not my country"? Wow. Wow. I don't I'm not gonna. Know. I'm not gonna give him that. I'm not giving him that. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. What? You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. No. We'll be very upset if you refuse. No. You're not gonna humiliate me. Is it gonna be like punch him or sing? I'm not singing. No, don't sing. Like, it's one thing if we're being passive, but no, you're not gonna humiliate me. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Really? Why would I sing for you? Like, grow up. Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop, stop it, Chad. Uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, oh, God, you got beat up for it. Uh, Sorry, Sean. Uh, Yeah. Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? Oh my gosh, ugh. Oh. Fuck! Fuck! Oh my gosh. I feel like I didn't make the right decision, but I wasn't going to sing for him. I wasn't going to sing. Like, you're not just going to humiliate me. And that's what he wanted. And I just was like, no. You've already humiliated me. But then he got beat up for it, so that makes me sad. Oh, so the, the wolf brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt. But nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Oh, oh no, so he wasn't able to get gas? Oh no. Oh my gosh, and he's burnt. Oh my gosh, see, heat stroke? I've had heat stroke, not fun. Or I've had a light version of heat stroke. Oh my gosh, he literally will like, he will get so ill from this. He's already burning. I wonder if he'll be able to hitchhike, which is not even safe. Oh my gosh. 
This episode is dark. Um. Okay. Look at him. He's sunburnt. Oh no. Almost there. No, he's gonna pass out. Like this is not gonna. Okay, I can kind of humble my, not humble, but stumble around a little bit. Is there anything? Shit, I need a break. We need. Might be some shade at the next billboard. Yeah, he needs to sit under somewhere. Whoa! Oh, shit. Better stick to the road. Oh, I had a. See, I was literally about to say like, and you don't know what creepy crawlies are in the ground, and the next thing you know. Can you get bit if you go farther? I wonder, because I mean, it's letting us help. Uh, can't run for miles in this heat. Oh, sorry, sorry, Sean. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this episode feels like oof. Yeah, we gotta get under the shade. Come on. We're almost there. I really wonder how this is all gonna end for them. Like, yes. is it gonna be okay? Shame. I've also been wondering about, like, extradition laws in Mexico. Do they not, like... Maybe that's how they... They, they'll sh they'll sh they should be okay oh, there? Man. My feet are killing me. Oh my gosh. Feels okay. like hiking in hell. Can we look around, draw, or drink water? Ah, uh, can we do both? Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Oh, I'm so s I'm sad that things didn't work out with Joey. I'm sad that he got beat up. Like, I just did not want okay. this to happen. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Okay, what else can I draw? Can I draw the billboard? Just look around you, dude. There must be interesting details to add up. I'm trying to find some, bro. Oh, there we go. Got a good picture of it. Okay. I'm ready to draw now. Okay, I hear something in my ear. What is that? This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. Is that like a snake? <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. Or is it I the brambles? Like... Okay. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Okay. I think we did a good job. Okay, can I drink water now? Let's drink some water. If we have any Shit. water left. My throat feels like sand. I can't believe he had to just ditch the car. Ugh. And the racism. Oh my gosh, that was just awful. But this is like you know, we're seeing it so much, like, you know, and I try to, it's not that I don't want to, I already drew it, do I have to draw it again? Huh. It's so empty and quiet. I guess that's if I'm, I didn't finish? Okay, I already finished, so we're not doing that. Um, it's just, it's just so sad that people still think they can be like that, you know, all over, you know, it's, it's really, really sad. I'll just kind of leave it there for now. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Oh my gosh, is that a I dog? Is that like a coyote? Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. 
I'm gonna avoid whatever that is. Is that like a fox? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like a coyote thing. Was that? Huh. Well, at least I got company. What is he looking at? Let's go look. Dead animal. Why didn't he eat the dead animal? Oh my god, do we gotta eat it? Ooh, look. What is it? Is it a bunny? Shit. This place is freaking me out. Okay, we're gonna go back to, back to the road. Hopefully that coyote thing could help us out. Or is it like a jackal? I don't know. I'm not like, I don't know my animals in like <sighs> desert areas. I know there's spiders and snakes and scorpions. Like point. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Oh god. I Whoa. listen. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Oh god. Uh, okay, uh be cool. Just Oh god. See what he wants. Uh, this just scares me like I know I read, you know, true crime and Ooh, honey. That his his can't be cops. His whole situation right. is just is just so so dangerous and scary. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Gotta hobble over. I don't want him to like have to stop again. What if I try to walk by? Will they let me? <laughs> uh okay. Well let's see what's going on. What's good? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Ooh, no, we gotta get. But what if he does something, y'all? I can't. If something else happens to Sean, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Oh my gosh! Like if something happens when he's in this truck, I'm really gonna be upset. So I, I can't. I can't. I gotta walk. Maybe I gotta walk. I have to walk. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't. I can't. Nah. I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> All right, Excuse me. Kid. If you want to roast out there, it's, it's your call. Uh, I'll be fine. He seemed nice, Thanks. but sorry, no. Because something's gonna happen to him, and I'm gonna feel like crap. Oh, gosh. How much farther are we gonna... We're not gonna get there. to square one. Maybe I should have trusted that guy. Maybe. I, I can't, y'all. I feel like some... He seemed nice, but I just don't trust anyone, and I'm I'm scared. Like, I've, I just... Uh, something is just... I'm just getting this vibe. Like, just the way the episode's gone so far, it's just... Ooh, it's dangerous. And I might be totally wrong, but I'm... Really, I would just be like, yo, do you have a hat? If you got a hat, if you got an extra hat, give me a hat so I don't get heat stroke. But, nah. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't risk it. I'm just so scared it'll be a situation that he has to get out the truck or something gets uncomfortable. No, I can't. I can't risk it. Sorry, y'all. Let me just drink a little bit. Okay. Oh, we're here, so we he made it. Now, I'm still worried about the situation, because I feel like Jacob left for a reason. And even though, oh yeah, like, Daniel's here, that doesn't mean it's going to be smooth sailing. I don't believe that. Okay, sunburnt and all, we are here, honey. A lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. Can't leave. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to look around. Daniel. I'm sure, even if he hasn't told the church anything, I'm sure they're not just going to let him go. That's what I'm thinking. Wow forgot about Easter. 
I completely lost track of time. So now we're early early spring, or we're in spring now, so we've kind of started in fall, went through winter. Oh, I'm God. so fucking beat. I know, right? Maybe I should have... Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. Well, we'll see. Wow, look at that. Crazy, beautiful skyline. I just want to look around y'all. Y'all know how I do, even though he's hobbling around. Um, let's see if there's anything over here. Can't leave. Okay, sorry. Gotta find Daniel. Okay, I tried. He's gonna walk up in there, sunburnt, eye patch. They're gonna be like, "What is this, honey?" Okay. My eye is itchy again. Oh gosh. I can't scratch it though. And did they take his stuff? They took his medication. That was just weird. Like, how are you taking someone's like? You see his eyes messed up. That's not funny. But people have no sympathy. You okay now? Is it gone? I, I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Looking for someone. Uh, just gonna be honest. Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. Aww, In well. his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Oh, God. Uh, what miracle? I want to uh, know. What miracle? You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. Oh no. Be here any minute now. Is it Daniel? Just come inside and see for yourself. Oh god. It's giving out last. <laughs> the Lord. Child. That's a mess. Okay. That poor we'll little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. So now Daniel's like Your Father was nice. Yeah, he's nice right now. Maybe People won't judge me here. That's what you think. He, he probably thinks he's homeless, which isn't really a, you know, an untrue statement. It kind I can't of is. See anything. Guess it's time to go to church. Okay. Let's look around. Because Jacob left for a reason. That's what. That's what I get back to. Jacob left. So the fact that he came back. It smells like bacon and bread in there. He had to come oh, back, shit, I think. I'm starving. He needs to probably needs a shower first. Um Jacob came back, I think, because everyone disbanded, but he took Daniel. That's what I'm my concern is that he's not just gonna let Daniel go. They're not gonna let him leave. And then if they find out okay. that Where are you, Daniel? They find out that Daniel's on the run, um they're probably gonna call the police, so we're not really hello we're not really in any can i go up here can you okay perfect picnic tables nevada is like a wonder how many oh, sorry. people come and go through this place one thing i did like when i was growing up like i i went to like catholic churches so we don't have like um at least the ones I I went to, they never had any. I never went to anything outside of mass, so there was no lunch. There was no co there was like coffee break. I think, sorta, not really. Feels everything you had to pay for. Out of time. Um. Oh, look at this. Why? Look at this whole like. Oh, what does that say? Jesus loves you. I could read that from here. Well, there we go. Um. But I know, like, the few times I went to, like, a Christian church, it was like, you go to, you go to like, service, and then there's food, and, you know, there's Sunday school for the kids. Like, I think that stuff's pretty cool. What are they doing around here? Except going to church. 
probably like a little community. Um, but my whole thing is like I, I just, you know, I have my relationship with God, and I just kind of leave it at that. Like, don't. And and I I'm, wonder what kind of community this is. Did Jacob really live here all his life? There's a reason he left. Um, I'm like religious in the sense that I believe in God, and I, you know, I pray and I believe that and I you know I consider that an important part of my life and, and I do speak to God and I do ask him for help and um, you know when I'm going through something I ask my friends and my track this is real walking right my feet are dead I'm so sorry but we gotta look around um uh oh oh no weird looks like our old training range girl girl put two and two together um, like I was saying, um, you know, if I'm going through something, I'll ask my friends to pray for me. If they're going through something, I'll pray for them and support them, of course. Like, if there's other ways I can support, but, you know, I, I do always pray and I, I do believe a prayer can sometimes the go farther. The church is probably the best place to look for him. Okay, I know, but I want to, like, look around, look alive. I mean, I know you're, like, half dead, but we gotta, we gotta just, you know, make our rounds. Ooh, okay, we can knock. Why not? Let's see if anyone's Maybe here. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. Yeah, I had a feeling everybody's at church. Okay, um, we're going to go back to the church. So, yeah, I mean, I have my relationship with God, and that's really important to me. My whole thing is, like, I'm happy with my relationship with God that I just feel like it's important for me to just pray, believe, and do right by others. And right by myself. Um... Because my body's a temple, too. But, so when people be coming at me like, girl, let's, you know. I remember years and years ago, I was at this, like, small kind of party slash get-together. I can see lightning outside, y'all. So if my, um, I was going to say earlier, there was a thunderstorm going on earlier, and then it stopped. I think it's back. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, so if... If this goes down, it's just because of that. I may have to stop the stream if it does, and we can't get back on. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that thunder here. is crazy. Huh. Wonder if Daniel made friends. Who would want to play out here in the desert? Would it not be so hot? I remember the one time I went to Texas, we could not be outside for most of the time I was there. They're like, no, it's too hot. You can't even go play outside. Um, for safety purposes. Okay, so what I was saying. So I'm. So a few years ago. Um, not a few years ago. This was years so and years ago. To picture Daniel out here. Uh, years and years ago, I went to a gathering, and there were some people there, and this one girl, we started talking about, you know, religion and God, and I think she was Christian, um, and I was like, yeah, I believe in God and this, and he's helped me so much, and, like, I'm just down to have that conversation, but then she started, and the others took good care of him. oh, girl, they definitely, mm, this is not looking good, she definitely was trying to be like, girl, you should this and that, 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 mm, I, 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 no, not much different than my hipster stickers, let go, People let God, I love that, what they love. I like that, that's, a, I, that's a good saying, and I agree with that, um, but she was trying to be all on some conversion, like, girl, you should come to... No, no, no. Just back up, back up, reverse, reverse. Like, I'm down to talk about God. Can't I'll celebrate him. Two months since I last saw Daniel. I'll celebrate him in my own way. I don't need you. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Utah. Um... So maybe they're not, I don't know what they're, we're going to see. I'm assuming, he's saying they're Christians, but we'll see, I guess. Um, can y'all hear that thunder? That is crazy, it is so loud, and we can see, I can kind of see the light from it. Here. Okay, we're going to go in. But yeah, I say all that to say, I love God, I pray, I'm religious in my own way, do not try to infer, do not try to, you know, influence that and, and get all up in my grill about that, because I don't play that. Yeah. Very humble. Okay, we're gonna go in. We're gonna see this mess. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. And then we're probably gonna wrap up soon. Probably only gonna do two hours today, and then we'll do a little more. Probably try to finish the episode next week. Okay. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, yeah. Can we get some water? Oh, thank God for AC. Right? 
Wonder if Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Amen to that. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? See? Sunday fun day. Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. All you can eat barbecue, limited seats, twenty dollar donation, noon to three PM, May fourteenth, twenty seventeen. See, and I knew this was gonna happen. See, this is why Daniel is just like <sighs> Good. If Daniel's here at least it won't go viral. Oh my gosh, but he's probably in there like Donate what?